welcome back. So today is gonna be a little bit different video. Um, I just thought I'll show you what I am working on uh, for this summer. Um, so this is my music stand obviously and all you see up front. Let's see. Let me just open this up for you guys. So this is um, Fiddler on the Roof. Um, and this is obviously by uh, John Williams. So this is the uh, famous cadenza. It's pretty much start right here. There's a, you know, the orchestra version has a little bit longer introduction. This is the um, piano part, so it's only like eight measures of piano. And then uh, this is the famous cadenza of um, that was written for uh, Isaac Stern. Uh, and it's pretty much run till here. This is where the orchestra comes or the piano. Um, so yeah, so this is a really, really nice piece. I have been really enjoying working on it. Um, and it's like you see, it's three pages long. It's really fun. So this is on my music stand right now. Uh, as well as, let me just flip it around. Zapateado, I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> by Pablo de Sarasate. Um, so this is another, if you're not familiar with that piece, it's it's just such a, such a fun piece. Um, it is very difficult, doesn't look so, maybe so difficult, but it is. Uh, especially if you want to play, you know, in tempo and still be well articulated and clean. So these are the first two pages, and then here's the rest of it. Um, so, yep. Yeah. It's really fun piece, so I have been working on this as well. Okay, another piece that I have been playing is the um, three pieces from Schindler's List, and I'm actually working on the first one. So uh, I have I have been kind of going with the bowings back and forth and fingering and um, trying to find like the perfect one that will suit me. Um, so I think this is pretty much my final version. <laughs> um, so, but, but you know, sometimes I apply and I've just decided to change something because it sounds just better. So yeah, but um, this is on my um, list right now as well. And let's see, where's the rest of the... Oh, here's the tango. So as you see, there's a lot of uh, John Williams music. So this is the tango from, uh, it's called the Por Una Cabeza. Um, and this was also a part for, uh, written for a movie. And it was written for Isaac Perlman. The, uh, the Schindler list was also written for Isaac Perlman. So, um, there was some really nice original recording on the YouTube. So you might go check it out as well. Um, so yeah, this is another fun piece. Uh, completely different. And, um, I have been... Again, working on bowings and fingerings and changing stuff around and um, obviously once you get to the, you know, to the main theme, which is, starts right here, um, you have to swing it. <laughs> you cannot, I mean, it would be kind of a crime to play exactly like all the steady eight notes that you see in here. You have to swing it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you go and listen to it, you, you'll, you'll know what I mean. Um, Alright, so let me show you the next. My student just left. <laughs> she lives next door, so it's quite convenient, huh? <laughs> Here's the Greek Sonata. It's a really beautiful piece. We're gonna do the one number three. Uh, I'm gonna show you quickly. Here's the second movement. Um, so this is the one in C minor. Um, I did it when I was in college and uh, yeah, revisiting it. So kind of, you know, started to look through again. It's a really beautiful, beautiful piece. So, um, and it has three movements. Uh, probably the second movement is my um, favorite one. Uh, yeah, all of those pieces I'm gonna be doing at the recital in October. Um, so that's the reason um, you know, I'm kind of working on it. And there's also a couple of, uh, let me show you quickly, guys. This is another piece. This is the Zugenweiser by um, Sarasata. So this is another one I'm revisiting. I, I've did it, I've done it when I was in college. So yeah, this is another 
fun piece. I see there is lots of markings because, you know, I obviously work on it. Well, knock the door. Well, my another student's here, so I'll get back to you in a moment. <laughs> All right, so my student is leaving. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. Sorry, guys, I have been all over the place, but I have students coming in and out. So um, anyway, I want to show you the rest of the music. So, introduction and Ronda Capriccioso by Sanson. It might be optional. Um, I'm kind of considering adding this to the list, so we'll see. Yeah, so this could be um, a possible, you know, um, I could add this to my uh, repertoire. And then we're also going to be doing, um, okay, another John Williams <laughs> move, uh, music. This is the Devil's Dance that was written for Gil Shaham. Um, so I have been working on some bowings and, um, you know, just correcting. Here's lots of corrections. Um, this is really cool piece, um, you guys, if you never, um, you know, heard about this. Um, you should definitely go go ahead and listen to it. It's um, it's it's a little painful to uh, practice. <laughs> I'm gonna say, um, you know, it it's maybe doesn't sound as you know kind of nice and as pleasure, uh, but it's with the piano. It really sounds really really nice. So um, has a very cool ending, and as you can see, I put a lot of fingering here, and you know. Um, some markings here so um yeah so and it's very you know it looks like it's a lot but it's very quick uh, it's about two or three minutes long so um okay and there's one more piece that we're gonna do um is a dance macabre by Sansong. uh so this is another very cool piece that i have played a while ago and decided to revisit and uh, i hate when they print the music like this they have three pages and then you kind of have to flip. I know, you know, I can obviously play it from memory, but it's just, I hate when I practice, when I have to flip this music like this. It's just so annoying. So anyway, yeah, so this is pretty much, um, this is pretty much what I uh, have been working on. So I haven't done lots of videos recently, obviously, because of all of this and, you know, I'm trying to do as much work as possible on this, uh, on these pieces before the, uh, again, the, you know, the orchestra season starts. I'm using my summers to do a lot of practice and, um, yeah. So here's my Greg Niani violin and, um, I switched to the, um, what is it? The Sartori bow. This is actually quite heavy bow, but I really, really like it. Um, I think about 61 or 2 grams. Um, but I really, really uh, like this bow. Um, so yeah, I've been kind of um, using this bow now. And um, I usually switch between this one and my uh, Picat. But I like this quite a lot. So um, I think I like those heavier bows. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so this is a little messy here. But I have all the, you know, all the music here and uh, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, just practice and uh, I just taught two lessons and I have two more students in the afternoon. Um, so I'll catch with you guys later. <laughs>
So guys, I thought I would take a little break and I want to show you the app that I have discovered recently and I really really like. It's called the Piano Score, I think. So what I did, um, I pretty much took photos of all the piano scores of the pieces that I just show you that I'm working on and because um, obviously I had to give it to my pianist. So for example, um, if you click, click on the Greek. Um, and see you can kind of swipe this is all the piano part um, and I actually uh, let's see oops sorry um, this is like the first movement I want to go to the first page but there we go um, so um, this is the first movement of the sonata um, you know so when I work on it obviously I can check it out so yeah I kind of took a photos of my music and I loaded into that app um, and then if you press catalog um, you go back let's say Zapateado um, this is another you know piano accompaniment and of course you can put your own music here as well I'm not a big fan of reading from it I mean it's an iPad mini so obviously um, um, you know you can't really see well but you if you choose you know if you have a regular iPad or the iPad Pro which is obviously much bigger um, you know you might choose to um, to actually use this you know here's the Schindler's list um, such a beautiful piece such a beautiful piece so um, so for example I just want to show you guys um, what you can do with this app which I found to be quite cool um, you can write on it. So, for example, if you want to add some, let's see, um, let's say this is going to be very small print and, um, okay, I'm going to pick on this one. And then you can also pick the color. I'm going to go with the red. And um, you can, for example, add some, hold on. <laughs> See, you can, um, you know, add some, um, you know, if you need to uh, put anything or here are the, the, all the symbols, um, you know, these are, I don't know if you can see, these are all the dynamics that you can add. And then if you, there we go. And then if you don't like something, um, you can just go and, you know, go for the eraser and, oops, sorry. I didn't see it and I'm just erasing it all 
and it's not erasing the music so it's just um, so yeah I just thought it was really really cool here's you can um, let's see these are all the you know that letters you can add and um, you know different fonts you can pick um, what else is in here and of course if you want like a thicker uh, you know kind of uh, bold print here's the choices so yeah I found this to be actually pretty cool um, uh, let's see what else is in here so you have also a keyboard isn't that cool and if you need a different octave you just kind of slide and you're gonna go lower so if you need to play something you can go ahead and do it right so you have a keyboard here and then what else is in here let's see your tuner okay so I'll give you the tune oops sorry there we go and then uh, you can record so you can obviously press here oops sorry oh there we go so access on my I obviously didn't use it yes okay I'll give you access and then you can start recording um, you know your own thing so here's that option and then here's your metronome all right let's try there we go isn't that cool <laughs> So you have a metro and obviously oops I should have show you guys and you can change it's like a you know very old-fashioned you can change the speed I just think it's really really cool so so here comes, here comes the metronome and the last one you can also use it with um, YouTube so you can actually see I was looking for a Schindler's list uh, recordings and of course you can put the violin so I'll show you the violin is playing so yeah you can watch the music and look at the YouTube, YouTube video at the same time. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted you guys to show you this app, um, you know, if you're interested to get in this, obviously, all the music that I... Um, I didn't show you guys the Elgar. I have also... Um, this is this is going to be the possible encore. So I load the more, and I'm using the second version um, if you are... Um, you know, looking for the this particular edition. I'm using the second version. There's two uh, two different versions in that uh, particular music. So, yes, yeah, so I kind of store all the accompaniments in here. Like I said, you can probably use for your um, you know solo violins as well. But I would rather use the paper for now. Maybe someday I'll convert. Um, so yeah, guys. So that's pretty much it. So it's called the Pia Pia score. So um, that's what it's called. So um, yeah. And it's very simple to use. You just pretty much, um, you know, tap on the download here at the bottom, and then you can use. Um, oh, it also I was going to show. You, it also has a free library, so you can actually look for. Um, let's say Mozart Symphony. Sorry guys, my camera overheated, so I had to wait a little bit to start recording again. Um, so anyway, um, you know, these are like different features that you have. And I use the uh, camera option, capture option to um, just photograph, you know, all the music and then uh, download it here on that app. So uh, there's a free, uh, free classical music sheet and there's a store. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's really, really cool app. Um, let's see. Let me go back to the, there we go. So these are all my... Um, all the music that I have at this point so um, yeah it cost only I think two two ninety nine I think that's what I've paid um, to get a full version I think you can download uh, you know like um, for free initially but then uh, if you want to use all the features you know like markings on the music and and so on so on you have to actually um, upgrade to a full version so it's cost two ninety nine. I think it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. So, yeah. So that's my app that I really, really like recently. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a little break and um, and I have to teach again today and uh, probably do some more practice. So I'll catch with you later. So I took my um, other violin. I put the Greg Nanny in this case, and I took the um, Testora violin, which usually lives in. Um, this Mosafia case, um, 
which is also very very pretty and I like this case because it's slightly lighter than the other one so um, I keep the the store of island here and um, yeah so the, that was pretty much the days you know it's about what six o'clock so I um, I had two more students coming and um, I was still working on some things and um, yeah I'm pretty much wrapping up I might still practice maybe later on a little bit but um, I have been working on the second movement of the sonata so yeah I just saw you like this little vlog kind of <laughs> day maybe it wasn't too interesting since I didn't have any rehearsals or anything but um, I thought I'll keep you updated anyway um, I wanted to show you one more things before I go this is um, really cool pencils that I have purchased from Charm Music um, it's uh, it's called a Palomino Blackwing they're supposed to be like really good for writing or musicians um, have the pressure twice the speed so um, they're really cool um, so I've been using this for oops I'll just drop it so I ordered the entire box so you have 12 um, 12 of them here and uh, let's see okay so this is the the box of those pencils so you have 12 in the box and I think they're really cool and you can I think buy like um, extra erasers and they are somehow like removable uh, but I didn't figure out yet how to remove so I have been kind of using this recently for you know like marking my music and um, yeah they also came with like a special sharpener which I let's see if I can I haven't used it yet because I have a electronic one electric one or whatever it's called um, I'm not I think I purchased this separately I'm not sure but anyway let me show you guys That looks weird, huh? So for some reason there's like two openings. I don't know if this is it has any particular meaning or not, but anyway. So yeah, so I purchased also this and obviously I haven't used it yet, so <laughs> but anyway, so I just wanted to um you know to let you know about those pencils in case any one of you is interested to buy um I think they're great for, you know, if you're playing the orchestra or um, or just, you know, doing a lot of markings in your music. I think they're great. So, yeah. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, little, you know, day spending with me. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.